one, zero, and liftoff. In December, the Air Force Institute of Technology's first free-flying satellite will hitch a ride into space on a NASA rocket. It really literally straps to the underside of the rocket. It's a method to get small secondary payloads uh, up there at a relatively low cost because we don't need our own rocket. Meet Alice, AFIT's micro satellite. She's 15 inches tall and 5 inches wide, much smaller than a typical satellite. It's $10,000 $10, per pound in orbit, right? So it's expensive for the military to launch large satellites. So there's one motivation is, can we do existing missions with much smaller satellites that will lead to much lower launch costs? From the educational aspect, we can build very small satellites, but very capable satellites that can mimic some of the capabilities of the larger ones. AFIT is the Air Force's graduate school of engineering and management. The school uses a mix of government civilians active duty airmen, and college interns to accomplish complex projects for the Air Force, like building and testing ALICE. So when we deploy, what happens is our solar panels open up and our antennas spring out, and then we have an omnidirectional transmitter and receiver. ALICE doesn't look very complex, but it took years for her to become space qualified. She had to pass multiple tests to prepare for the harsh conditions in space. We have a thermal vacuum chamber, and so that replicates the vacuum and then the hot and the cold cycles. We also have one of just a couple of vibration tables in the country that is qualified up to the level of the rocket. And all of those tests were done at AFIT. So we can do the entire build and the qualification and the command and control all right here out of, out of AFIT. Alice takes off in December from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. Once in space, she'll orbit Earth every 90 minutes. But AFIT can only talk to Alice for 10 of them. We will download our state of health, battery levels, and then we will also start to get payload data. So our experiment, all the science that we've actually gathered on orbit, we can then transmit down and we can actually receive it on these radios and then we can see it all on our computer. The information and lessons learned from Alice will make their next satellite even better. AFIT plans on building and testing Alice 2 next year. Reporting from Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, I'm Matthew Klaus.